September 27, 2016 is a day that will forever live in infamy. That was the day that the Anti-Defamation League identified Pepe the Frog as a hate symbol. Their justification was that the lovable green frog was being used by some bad actors to promote bigotry, despite the character's innocent origin and the fact that the vast majority of its use in meme culture was completely harmless. The ridiculous logic used by the ADL could justify labeling just about anything as a hate symbol if it's used as some kind of vehicle to promote hate. Hitler breathed, breathing oxygen was the vehicle that kept him alive to spread hate, therefore, oxygen is a symbol of hate. I know that's a ridiculous example, but identifying innocent content as hateful due to its use by a few bad actors only accomplishes one thing, empowering bigots to hijack anything they want to label as a part of their culture, making these groups feel way more powerful than they actually are. However, the ADL's designation clearly did not stop people from using Pepe, which has remained a fixture of gaming and related cultures. Perhaps it's unsurprising that people did not take a organization calling cartoon frogs hate symbols very seriously, but it appears that some have not given up the fight to ban Pepe, and of course, it's a V-tweeter. This user tweeting, Hi, I know it's very late at night, but I've been thinking about it, and I think it's important to note that Sag, Maj, etc. originate from the racist frog emote. I know people think they're funny words, but they come from an awful place, so maybe don't use them? And in the further replies, using the same string of logic that the ADL did back in 2016. Yeah, these are the kind of 3am thoughts that should have stayed in the Twitter drafts. Sad to see someone in 2022 blindingly accept misrepresentations of harmless imagery, where sadly enough, by the ADL's own logic, you shouldn't be allowed to use that furry profile picture because there's a small subset of furries who are bigots. Obviously that inference is ridiculous, but it's just as ridiculous as trying to consider goofy Pepe terms as products of hate. Ah, whatever man. V tweeters stay mad, but what's new? But that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.